Um, hey guys, it's Dimitri here from DimitriKozlov.com and FreedomPassionPurpose.com. Can't forget that new one. Um, I'm coming to you guys today with something that's very relevant in my own life right now. Um, and I was just rereading some paragraphs from this book, Crush It, by Gary Vaynerchuk. And I'm hanging out with my buddy Avi and Morales here today on uh, just getting some work done. And um, basically, one thing I've really been struggling with a lot is distractions and procrastination. I have a lot of distractions in my life. I have a very rich social life and I have a lot of great friends. But um, sometimes, you know, I think I struggle with the fact that, you know, I really want to build something so significant. But at the same time, I want to do all these other things as a 21-year-old kid and party and have fun and, you know, an experience life and enjoy life for what it is. Um, and I think a lot of people struggle with the same issue. Um, with all the distractions that people have in life, whether it's a football game, whether it's the television, whether it's hanging out and drinking with your friends, um, whatever it is. I mean, just literally just 10 minutes ago, there was like basically a dance party going on right in this office. So anyway, I'll cut straight to the point. I opened up this book, Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk, rereading some paragraphs and randomly read this paragraph. And I think it applies to you if you're trying to build something significant in your life and might be struggling a little bit because of the distractions. Right. Anything insane has a price. If you're serious about building your personal brand, there will be no time for Wii. That's W-I-I, -I, the video game, Wii. Um, there will be no time for Scrabble or Book Club or Poker or Hockey. There will be time for meals and catching up with your significant other and playing with the kids. Otherwise, you will be in front of your computer until 3 a.m. every night. If you're unemployed or retired and have all day to work, maybe knock off at midnight instead. Expect this to be all-consuming. Now, that sounds a little bit gruesome at first, but it's not so much when you read the second half of this, um, you know, this section here. The second half of the section is really about passion. And he basically what he says is, the thing is, if you're living your passion, you're going to be, you're going to want to be all consumed by your work. There's no room for relaxation in the flop on the couch with popcorn and watch TV kind of way, but you won't need it. You're not going to be stressed or tired you're going to be relaxed and invigorated. Sorry, you're not going to be stressed or tired. You're going to be relaxed and invigorated. The passion for the passion and love for what you do will enable you to work the hours necessary to succeed. You might lose track of time. You might go to bed reluctantly and wake up in the morning excited to do it all over again. You'll be living and breathing your content, learning everything you can about your subject, about your tools, about your competition, about talking nonstop with other people interested in the same thing you are. But as hard as you're going to push yourself, don't plan on seeing results right away. And the next section he talks about is on patience. I won't go too much into that, but just wanted to come to you guys with this quick little message today. Um, number one, don't give up. Everything does take patience. But number two, anything really significant, anything truly extraordinary, and sometimes a little bit insane, has a price to pay. And you got to figure out right now what you're willing to sacrifice and what price it is that you're willing to pay. Have a great night, everybody. Um, thank you for watching this video.